CNN staff allege racial harassment. According to a growing list of angry employees, CNN may as well stand for Caucasian News Network. Last December, CNN was hit with a lawsuit that claims African-American employees in similar positions are paid less than white staff. The lawsuit also alleges that African-Americans working for CNN and other Time Warner subsidiaries are denied promotions by a glass ceiling. What's more, CNN's glass walls keep African-American staff out of senior positions in powerful revenue-generating departments. 175 current and former employees have requested to join the class action lawsuit. Now this is on YouTube, so there are certain words we can't use lest this video be demonetized. So uh, let's just say some of the plaintiffs allege they were subjected to pigmentationally biased slurs by their superiors, which we don't dare repeat. CNN's parent company Time Warner has until April 14th to respond to a motion requesting to amend the original complaint to putative class action. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. CNN is not the only media giant facing court action. Harassment settlements stack up at Fox News. The sexual proclivities of a major figure at Fox News are making headlines again, and this time it's top-rated host Bill O'Reilly who's under the spotlight. According to the New York Times, 67-year-old O'Reilly and Fox News have paid out a total of $13 million to five women since 2002 to make a string of allegations about sexual harassment and other bad stuff go away. Two of the five settlements were old news, but fresh details have emerged in relation to those cases. One of O'Reilly's accusers claims he made unwanted sexual advances and sometimes sounded like he was stroking his fox when he called her on the phone. The central theme of the allegations is that O'Reilly tried to get the women into bed, but when they refused, O'Reilly used his powerful position to hurt their careers. All of O'Reilly's accusers either worked for him or were guests on his show. Most are bound by confidentiality agreements as part of their settlements. O'Reilly said he was vulnerable to lawsuits because of his fame and decided to settle with the women to avoid hurting his children. O'Reilly earns about $18 million a year, and his show brings in big advertising bucks for the network. Former Fox News chief executive Roger Ailes resigned last year amid a long list of sexual harassment allegations. More lurid claims against Ailes were made this week by Democrat strategist Julie Rojinsky, who says Fox's current management are trying to cover up for him. Hulkster leg drops Gawker in a $140 million lawsuit! A Florida jury handed Gawker a vicious backbreaker on Friday when it awarded $140 million to wrestling legend Hulk Hogan in his sex tape lawsuit. The Hulkster gets $55 million for economic injuries and $60 million for emotional distress for invasion of privacy. The Super Suplex came after a two-week trial and less than six hours of deliberation by a six-member jury. The jury's colossal award also includes $25 million in punitive damages. In October 2012, Gawker posted a video of Hulk pile driving his former best friend Bubba the Love Sponge Clem's wife. <laughs> During the case, the Hulkamaniac explained his strange relationship with Bubba and the ways in which Clem encouraged Hogan to power slam his wife. AJ Delirio, Gawker's former editor-in-chief, then decided it was a good idea to joke about child porn during his deposition. Gawker has to post a bond of $50 million! <laughs> the company plans to appeal the verdict, but does Denton have enough in the bank? All the little Hulkamaniacs around the world can rest assured old man balls aren't news after all. Hmm, wonder what Hulk is gonna do to celebrate. Yeah! Ay Dios mio! Univision buys Gawker for a whole lot of pesos. Gawker going once, going twice. Sold to Univision for $135 million. 
After getting an 140 million buck leg drop from Hulk Hogan and tech billionaire Peter Thiel, Gawker looked like it was almost about to tap out. But then a certain Nacho Libre tagged in and saved the day. Univision dominated the intense bidding war for Gawker Media in an auction that had a total of two bidders, Univision and Ziff Davis. Nick Denton and Gawker have been in desperate need of some green after the Hogan trial pushed them into bankruptcy. Univision has been on a muy loco spending spree as of late. Earlier this year, it bought out Disney's stake in the Fusion Network and website. It also acquired the hard-hitting news site, The Onion, as well as The Root, a site that focuses on black news. Does this mean that Deadspin will all be in Spanish now? Ay caramba! But maybe now that Gawker's money problems are taken care of, they can forget about trying to focus on politics and go back to what they do best, rewriting headlines. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Gretchen Carlson sees Fox's Roger Ailes for being a dirty old pervert. Looks like the aging Fox is no longer friends with the old boss after Gretchen Carlson, a longtime presence on Fox News Channel, filed a lawsuit alleging that top exec Roger Ailes constantly hit on her and ended her career after she rejected the 75-year-old. Carlson claims she was yanked from Fox and Friends in 2013 after complaining about co-host Steve Douchey's sexual harassment of her. Apparently, Douchey mocked her during commercials, shunned her off-air, refused to engage on-air, and treated her like a dumb blonde. Carlson said Ailes liked to check her out and would ask to look at her booty. Ailes also talked about Carlson's legs a lot, as well as wanting to be stranded on an island with her. In front of others, Ailes said he had plowed three former Miss Americas, just not her. Ailes bragged to others he's always seated when a woman walks over, so she has to bend over to say hi. Ailes has denied the allegations, and it could be Carlson is just looking for a payout. At Fox, hot blondes grow on trees. With so many apples in the orchard, would you pick Carlson? But now that Carlson has come out, looks like Ailes may be the next Bill Cosby. Six other women have now accused Ailes of trying to coerce them into sex. No doubt more will come out of the woodwork. Will the final outcome be fair and balanced for Ailes? Bye-bye, Roger Ailes. Looks like the end is near for Fox CEO Roger Ailes, who's under investigation after ex-news host Gretchen Carlson filed a lawsuit against him this month. Carlson has accused the 76-year-old of sexual harassment, and she's not the only one. As it turns out, golden girl Megyn Kelly has a beef with him, too. The Fox anchor alleges that Ailes made unwanted sexual advances towards her 10 years ago, when she was just a correspondent. The network's lawyers have reportedly given Ailes an ultimatum, be out by August 1st, or be kicked out. Kelly is seen as the future of Fox and is too valuable to lose especially with Bill O'Reilly considering retirement. With Kelly in contract negotiations and head honcho Rupert Murdoch and Sons eager to keep her, it's only a matter of time before the age of Ailes goes kaput. 
don't hit the door on your way out. Ka-ching! Fox paying Gretchen Carlson $20 million to settle sexual harassment suit. Fox News has agreed to pay former Fox & Friends co-host Gretchen Carlson $20 million and make a public apology two months after Carlson accused Jabba the Ailes of sexual harassment. Carlson initially filed the suit claiming that her refusal of his sexual advances led to a pay cut, a move to a lower profile afternoon show, and fewer chances for important interviews. Ailes denied the allegations, but two weeks after the suit was filed, he resigned from his post as chairman and CEO of Fox News. 21st Century Fox said in part of a statement, We sincerely regret and apologize for the fact that Gretchen was not treated with the respect and dignity that she and all of our colleagues deserve. It appears that the news company also reached settlements with two other women. Carlson said in part of a statement she released, I am grateful that 21st Century Fox took decisive action after I filed my complaint. I'm ready to move on to the next chapter of my life in which I will redouble my efforts to empower women in the workplace. <laughs>